My father uh, came from Ontario, from Ottawa, and my mother came from uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, a German-born um, American. They met in Ottawa, then moved here to uh, Montreal when Dad uh, was transferred by the Bell Telephone. And the West Island was very attractive in those days, and the land was cheap. So we settled in Beaurepaire. What do you think attracted him most about Beaurepaire? Because it wasn't that developed at that point. We are our home on Lakeview. There were four homes on Lakeview when we moved there, and there were farms on either side of the street. So I think my dad loved the wilderness. Dad loved the country. We had a, a very large lot. We had a huge garden in the back. So he wanted, he wanted that space and that nature around him. He was very passionate about that. It wouldn't have been considered a, a suburb at that point, would it? No, I don't think so. Beaurepaire had its own town hall and city manager, so we were our, an entity in it, itself. We had the hub, which is famous. Every, I mean, everybody from Beaurepaire remembers the hub. The Carter, Mr. Carter, Mel Carter ran it. We had Roy's Rexall Drugstore. Roy and Mel Carter were two men that everybody in the village knew. And, and uh, the hub was a hardware store. There's still a small one there now. Godin's was a wonderful uh, meat market. So it was a pretty good little village. And it seemed to me that it was self-sufficient. On a day like today, what would an average day for you be living in uh, I'd probably have to work in the garden for a while, or my neighbors, yes, it would be picking time. So I would go next door and, and get uh, about 10 cents an hour to pick berries for my neighbor or work and weed my father's garden. Then we'd have lunch and then we'd go down to the lake shore and swim all afternoon in Lac Saint Louis when it was swimmable. So you remember swimming in the lake? All the time. I learned to swim in Valwa Bay. Mr. Purdy, Ellen Purdy's dad, taught me to swim in Valwa Bay. What point in your life did you say, okay, bow repair is getting a little too small for me? Bow repair was never too small for me. Um, I'm not, I was not an adventurous person. I worked for the city of Dorval as, as a teenager uh, in parks and recreation. That broadened my scope a bit and I loved Dorval. It was a wonderful place to work. But when I got married, I got married in 63, it was time to go, it was time to move, expand my horizons. But I wasn't one of those people that just couldn't wait to get out of there, like some of my friends who wanted to get off to university and you know, spread their wings. I, I loved living out there.